Okay, how's everybody doing out there? First of all, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal Reach Technology Screens using Smart Technology Gain. Yeah, I already started on painting the 169 motorized projection screen. I only leave a little bit left over. I'll leave some of it left over to show you how it's done. Now, um, I'm going to show you this demonstration that how a nano screen is supposed to be painted. Keep in mind, nanos only are available in a two quart container only. We don't make these in gallon sizes and the screen has to be sprayed on due to the fact that the formula is very, very thin. And one of the problems you will find if you try to roll this screen on, you will streak the daylights out of your screen. Now, a point I want to make is the reason why we uh, do the Wagner 150s. I like the Wagner 150s because number one, it's a very easy sprayer to use for our customers. It has a nice small compressor. It doesn't push a lot of air through. You don't have to worry about a huge splatter effect. There's only two nozzle controls. There's wide and narrow. It has one button at the top, and switch, and that's it. Then you have the dial on the side that allows you to, um, to um, decide how much air you want to push through the compressor. And you have the cup at the bottom. So, um... One of the things I want to point out is what a real nano looks like. It's the fact that number one, nanos are, like I said, the solution is very, very thin. The form is very thin, so it has to be sprayed. Uh, you can't roll them. Number two, we only make them in two quart containers, two quart containers only. They're never sold in gallons ever. Uh, actually, they are sold in gallons, but this is for company contracts only. Uh, also, too, I wanted to add is that, you know, when I buy these, I get these wholesale. So I get them for about $40 a piece. They're like 60 bucks. And the store, cleaning tax, probably 67 But I get them for $40 a piece. Now, I would save more money if I made the screen a roll-on screen because a roller set would cost me between 10 and 15 bucks, or sometimes less than that. If I use my wholesale license, I can get it for like 8 or $5 for a pan and paint roller. But these wholesale cost me $40. So I would not pack something in the box that you could easily just roll on. That would save me a ton of money compared from $8, 10 or 15 compared to $40 a piece for these. Now, that's the reason why we pack a sprayer in there because the nano has to be sprayed on. It's a very thin solution. So, anytime you see me do a demonstration with this, uh, with a nano, any fine, the black nano, silver, uh, the platinum, I've always used paint sprayers. And like I said, one of the key evidence that in that video the nano was fake was the fact that when I saw a gallon container, we don't sell nanos in gallons. They're only sold in two quarts. You know, a lot of people, uh, it's a shame. I feel very sorry. I take no pleasure um, in seeing somebody's downfall. I really don't. But I just felt that, you know, wow. It just takes you there, man. It really does take you there. It's sad. It really is. But let's, let's continue on because we've got things we got to do here. Things that got to be done. I ain't got time to haul for over this nonsense. I got plenty of haters out there that don't like what I do. But, you know, it, it's part of the business. All right, so let's finish this up.
do apologize for that. My camera's focus is acting up a bit here. There we go. Get it to focus back on something again. over it nice again because like I said it's a one coat application make sure you don't miss any spots and then go back move it out that's all All right, Woo. done. Now once it dries, it dries out nice and evenly. It looks beautiful. Now just to show you how this was done, we basically taped all this up, uh, everything, the whole nine yards, all this was taped up real nice with some frog tape and plastic tape. Now as I said before, um, with the other screen paints, I would roll this on because they're designed to be rolled on. With the Wagner, I do love that particular one, 150, because 150 makes it very easy for us to apply the uh, paint with no problem. There's my feed right there. Let me show you right from the door. There's the screen right there using our technology. There you go. 100, 169 motorized tension projection screen. You watch me paint it using a Wagner 150. This is our technology right here. This is the real technology. And like I said, this is the reason why we get hated on. Because we come out here, we came out here, I came out here in the market in 2011. And I had places like ABS forms. A lot of these big sites didn't like me. They didn't like my technology, what I was doing. You know, I did stuff that other people weren't doing. Doing demonstrations in fully lit environments, painting screens directly in front of the camera, all kinds of stuff. You know, testing as big high-end projection screens. I got big companies out there who can't stand me, they don't like me. And I got other companies out there that want to sign contracts with me. And as I said before, it's not to be bragging or anything, but no company in their right mind is going to basically sign you to a contract without testing your technology first. Now, there's a big difference between somebody who's a professional in that field, who's been doing that for years, and somebody who's been testing it in an apartment. You know what I mean? It's a big difference. You know, I do my demonstrations time and time again in front of you. I spray them down time and time again. Now, consider the fact that our screen can beat a $5,000 DMP Supernova. We've done demonstrations against Elite Dark Star 9. We did the um, uh, Firehawk G4. These are screens that cost you thousands of dollars. My demonstrations, fully lit environments. You know, a lot of people don't do demonstrations in fully lit environments. We just open up doors, windows, the light casket, and we do a long throw, short throw, 200 lumen projectors. They don't do demonstrations like us, so the next best thing they can do is tear us down. And I feel sorry for people who do that. I really do. Instead of taking all that negativity and doing something positive with it, you know, if, you, if, you, if, you, if you're not on that level, put yourself on that level. Don't tear other people down to make yourself look good. And I really feel sorry for this individual, I really do. I take no pleasure in watching somebody fall. I do feel sorry for them. I wish they would have did things differently. I wish they did. All right, so right there you just saw me. 180 inch screen, that is a nano black, our technology. And there is my 100 inch uh, tension motorized screen. Turn from any angle I want. Let me be doing some more demonstrations of this too. I might hook up my old gaming system and have some fun. And let me show you where the projector is at. My projector is right on the floor. That is my long throw uh, ViewSonic projector at around 13 feet back. This is how beautiful the technology is. God is amazing. God will bless you to be to do some incredible stuff, but you always got to remember, you're always going to have somebody out there trying to tear you down. You always will. No matter what you do in life, you're always going to have somebody out there trying to tear you down. But I appreciate those watching my demonstrations. Thank you for your support. 
thank you for having my back, you know what I mean? Thank you for the big companies that come in, even small companies that come in and give us amazing contracts to be to work with you. We thank you for that, for giving us that opportunity to be to do that. And for this particular individual who did what he did, I have no hatred for you. Now, I do have to follow certain guidelines within my company to handle this situation, but I have no hatred for you. I'm used to this. All right. Um... I'm happy. I, I can't wait. I'm gonna can't wait to do some videos off this off my motorized screen now. So I'm really happy. All right. I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Everybody have a good one. Thank you all for your time. It's so cool. It's so freaking cool. I love the screen.